So here's my photo cells. There's just four of them, and they're just leaning, basically leaning up against the building here. And they probably get decent sun for about six hours a day. So here's the uh, Midnight Classic. That's basically over now. Got 85 volts on four panels. It's still putting out 2.9 amps at 12 volts. So those solar panels that I showed at the back are coming in here. And then the uh, output of the Classic is going to my Ames inverter charger here, which is a great inverter charger, but you have no information. You don't know what power is going on, what's going in or going out. And then the inverter charger and the Midnight Classic, Midnight Solar Classic, are feeding these two deep cycle crappy tire batteries, which are questionable at best, but uh, that's all I got. So I've basically just plugged in a light bulb, a 100 watt light bulb, and that's been running all day on the system here, and I'm just sort of testing it out to make sure and I'm really hoping that the light bulb at least lasts overnight, so uh, I've had a decent day of charging, at least six hours. And I'll show you the pictures uh, from the uh, computer screen for the Midnight Solar, the, uh, the classic monitoring system, which is really cool. I found some old UPSs in the garbage, so I was able to salvage some of the stuff out of them, so... The batteries were dead, but or I was able to save the fuses and the uh, and these connectors. I can't remember what they're called, but they look like they'll uh, they'll come in handy for something. And the fuses for the uh, uh, their DC fuses at 200 amp or something. So I'll use that for something. But uh, uh, just trying to scavenge as many parts as I can. And that's the battery bank from the UPS that I was able to scavenge out of the garbage at work, so the batteries are fried and we took all the good cabling and stuff out of it, but uh, I think I can still use the batteries for cores if I ever, ever break down to buy new batteries, and I've got one more in the basement, so I'll, uh, I'll take that out as well and get all the hardware out of it, but uh, yeah, I'm going to use some other dead batteries that I have that I'm going to uh, just use as cores if I have to break down and buy real batteries. So here's one thing I wasn't expecting, the three of the solar panels that I bought uh, only came with Tyco connectors, not the, uh, not the uh, MC4s that everybody else has, and I didn't even notice it when I got them. If you look at the, the normal MC4, about the only way you can tell the difference is that the, uh, the MC4 is round, and the Tyco is square, and they look kind of the same, but... Uh, at the end of the day and they just don't work so I had to cut these guys off and buy uh, a male and a female MC4 to put on each end of my uh, of my array so there's uh, three panels that have both one panel that just has Tyco connectors and then two other panels that has one Tyco and one MC4 and then and then one just with MC4 so hopefully for the cabinet it won't uh, won't be a problem but uh, if I had the money I could change all the connectors over but they're not cheap so anyway that was about the only problem I had uh, and if you look at them side by side you know, they're obviously different, but a, a quick inspection, they, it didn't seem like there was that much of a difference, but they obviously don't fit. So uh, I'll keep you posted and let you know how this uh, project works out. Thanks for watching.